Hi, this is Max from FL Studio Tips and today I will show you 5 tricks for better trap and hip hop melodies. So, first trick will be about making old detuned kinda sampled piano only using stock plugins. So let's go to the packs, instruments, keyboard and choose close grand. As you can see I already prepared first mixer channel for that. Now let's add some notes. I have this MIDI right here. Okay, so first thing we'll add is equalizer, but in preset called radio. You can tweak it a little if you want. Second thing will be maximus in preset called lo-fi. Next thing will be compression, so let's add limiter. Go to compressor mode, turn down the threshold and increase ratio. And the last thing will be patcher. Let's drag the line from FL Studio to FL Studio and choose preset called Humanizer. You can drag the volume speed down As you can hear it, it will add some tape detune kind of effect. Now let's hear it in the mix. Second trick is about reversing melody, but preserving the notes. And here's what I mean. First thing is to write your MIDI, of course. Now you will need to hit Ctrl A to select all notes and hit Alt Y. We'll need to flip only horizontally and preserve start times. Hit Accept. And now we just need to take our bass notes and drag them to the left. As you can hear, we already have cool different melody, but what we want is actually go to the playlist, mark our pattern, and hit Ctrl Alt C. Set tail to cut or wrap. I set it to cut and start. Now when we got our sample, let's double click it and hit reverse. As you can hear, we preserved our notes that we had earlier, but we got the reverse effect. Let's hear it in the mix. By the way, this is actually our preview for our trap sample pack. If you're interested, check out the link below. Next trick is about using scales. Let's insert sampler, go to pan roll, and insert one of the scales that we give you as a freebie today. Now when you got your scale, let's go to the instrument and open pan roll. Now the one rule is just to follow the notes that are highlighted. For example, let's do a super simple bit like Next trick is about adding movement to your sample. So let's say I have a melody here that I made. And I rendered it to sample. So it's easier to play with it. The common technique to add movement is adding volume automation. So let's double click on the sample, right click on volume and create automation clip. Now you can do it by double clicking on automation clip and setting it to LFO and play with the settings but I find the following technique more convenient. So let's shorten it to one beat and now we'll do some kind of shape here. Bend it up and extend it here and bend it to the opposite side. Now when we would like to have it shorter, we can double click on it, set the range to 12 and increase it all the way up. Now we can just mark it and hit Ctrl B.
Yeah, now we can just render your sample, hit Shift M and shorten it, and set it to stretch mode to preserve the pitch. Yeah, and actually let's hear it in mix. This trick will be about making your melodies unique and interesting, especially when you're working with loops. So let's load a loop from our new trap sample pack. Let's load it here. Double click on the sample, right click on the waveform and open it fruity slicer. Now when you play notes, And you can actually make totally different sample, but today I want to merge two of them. So let's put down the pitch. And now let's assign it to a new mixer channel. Up maybe delay. I'll use delay free. Maybe set it to ping pong. Increase the resonance. Set it to band pass. Now maybe some reverb. And maybe some EQing. Ok, now let's hit F7 to open piano roll, delete everything and draw your melody. Alright, now let's go to the playlist view and put the pattern over the original sample. Cool, let's hear it in mix. Alright, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon in the next video.